Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. It's your business to get a handle on your finances, and that's why we have Chris Kidd, who's a regular contributor on the program. He is the CEO and president of Chris Kidd Enterprises. His website, Chris Kidd, K-I-D-D dot com. And frankly, I'm tired of saying the words Chris Kidd, so I'm going to go uh, straight <laughs> to our uh, our uh, interview now. Uh, great uh, guest. He's been on the program before. I was going to ask you when you were going to get this guy back on. I'm looking forward to it. Tell us a little bit, though, about what Chris Kidd Enterprises does. And by the way, he's coming up very soon, either this week or next week, on uh, Price of Business TV show on the Biz TV Network. We now have several shows, you know, in the can, as, as we like to say. And uh, you did a great job, by the way, on our television interview. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. And I, I guess I'll answer your question now. Yeah, go ahead. As, <laughs> Hurry before you forget. I'm a, a financial coach, and basically I help people with personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship as far as uh, getting a handle on investments and uh, understanding how things work and being able to make better decisions and get more out of your money, um, personal finance, you know, getting out of debt and also making better money decisions. And then the entrepreneurship side is usually working with people who are trying to find a way to turn something that they're passionate about into some kind of profits. So, um, yeah, my my guest today, uh, like you mentioned, I thought with a lot of stuff that's been going on, this is really good timing to have him back. Um, we had him on last summer uh, before uh, a big mess happened, and I think it was right before that happened, or either right before or right after. I think it was before, because his book had just come out. But uh, Jay Peroni is my guest, a good friend of mine, and uh, runs a pretty cool investment website called wallstreetrenegade.com. That's wallstrenegade.com. Good to have you back, Jay. Good to be back, Chris. Chris, yeah, great. Uh, exciting times we're in today. So. Jay, kind of give us an overview of what you do. Yeah, I help uh, investors kind of navigate these choppy markets using a combination of instruments, everything from stocks to bonds to exchange-traded funds and options. And I help people formulate a game plan. I, I do it for both do-it-yourself investors. We have subscription services for people trying to figure out what to do with their money. And then for people that say, hey, I want you to handle it for me, we also have money management services. Very good. Go ahead there, uh, Chris. Yeah, Jay, um, speaking of uh, turbulent times, that's you know one of the things I wanted to have you on about because people who have been following the stock market recently and you know ones who haven't been are now because uh, it's gotten really volatile uh, just over the last uh, – I want to say over the course of the past month, like mid-December, uh, you actually had written a book uh, that we talked about earlier last year uh, about uh, the blood moons on Wall Street and how uh, the stuff with the eclipses was tying in and everything. And we've been talking about uh, a possible crash uh, for, I would say, close to a year now it's from some stuff that we've been seeing. But um, what are some things that some people who are just kind of like the, the average investor out there um, that we deal with that really are trying to learn how this market works and how to be better investors, what are some things that they need to understand about the market and uh, what should they be thinking on about right now with all this stuff going on? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's perfect timing. I wrote uh, Blood Moons on Wall Street last year uh, just because I saw a lot of what was starting to unfold uh, I obviously went through the uh, the last crash in uh, 2008, and I was seeing some of the very same warning signs that I saw back in 2007 in the early stages before the last financial crisis hit. And that's really what prompted me to write Blood Moons on Wall Street was helping people to formulate a game plan. You know, how do you physically prepare? How do you spiritually prepare? And then how do you financially prepare for a crisis if it does unfold? And that is exactly what we're seeing back in August of last year was really kind of the preliminary warnings where we saw the markets drop very sharply, and then they recovered very quickly. Unfortunately, there was no good news. There was not a lot of data or economic uh, statistics coming in to really back up that market coming back so quickly. And that's what you often see with these crashes is the market will have kind of a, a short-term drop, and then it'll recover and go almost back to where it was, or maybe even a little bit higher, and then the real drop begins. And that's what I've been talking 
uh, to my subscribers about is the fact that these markets are very dangerous right now because we have so much uh, economic problems that are spreading quickly around the world. And a lot of people who haven't been paying attention don't realize that right now we have a major debt situation that was never fixed back in 2007 and eight, and it's just grown substantially since that time. And now everything is starting to come to a front here. Yeah. Talk a little bit about, uh, you know, something that you've been talking about at your website, website which again, wallstrenegade.com. You're talking about this global currency reset. What exactly is that? And what does that mean to uh, the listener out there? Yeah, basically what we're seeing right now is there is kind of a race to the bottom. Everybody's trying to devalue their currencies because everybody is swimming in debt. And instead of uh, the last go-around back in 08 when everybody was about to default, rather than letting the system go through a natural reset where everybody lets, you know, those who can't pay their debts default, they clean out all the garbage, and then we can go back to business as usual, rather than doing that, what we've seen is all these central banks around the world cutting interest rates to zero and even negative. Like in Europe, they've cut rates four times to negative interest rates. I mean, imagine that. You have to pay money to keep it at the bank. That's just crazy. And so you've got these interest rate cuts that have taken place, and then you've got these central banks that keep printing more and more money, just devaluing their currencies, and then even promising to do more. And what's happened now is these central banks have just lost control of the system. So eventually what's going to end up happening is all of these uh, currencies that we have, nobody's going to trust anyone anymore, and they're going to have to come up with some sort of new currency uh, whether it's a basket of currencies or, uh, you know, precious metals back currencies, there's going to be at some point a global reset where everybody's currencies are going to be valued based on what they bring to the table. That's my, you know, kind of my opinion of what's going to happen over the next several years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, Jay, like you said, um, you know, with the the market crashing like in, in August and then coming back and up and down, um, up until I guess the uh, mid next uh, last month, um, <clears throat> a lot of people would think, well, gonna either my money is I'm going to be losing money or it's not going anywhere. But um, with uh, Wall Street Renegade, at least with our uh, options service, we've uh, had a pretty good run as of late, and uh, I know those subscribers have been pretty happy with uh, with some of this stuff uh, provided there. What's uh, what's the streak at now? Yeah, we've had 24 winning trades in a row, and uh, the, the interesting thing, Chris, is, you know, we go everywhere. We don't just look at the, the U.S. stock market. We look globally. We look at China. We look at the emerging markets, Russia, Brazil. We go all over the globe and look for opportunities because a lot of people don't realize that even if the stock market is going down, you can still make money by betting against the stock market, <laughs> and uh, you can use things like calls and puts. Uh, which are option trading strategies and things like inverse ETFs that go the opposite direction of a market. So there are various instruments out there where you can actually make a lot of money in this type of market. And our option trader uh, program has been very successful. Like I said, 24 straight winning trades uh, going all the way back to November. We've had uh, now going on our fourth uh, month in a row of uh, uh, of positive gains in, in every trade that we've made. Again, there'll be some losers along the way, but we've had a great streak so far. Sounds like it. Again, uh, talking to Jay Peroni, he is with Wall Street Renegade. That's wallstrenegade.com. Of course, Chris Kidd, he's a regular contributor on the price of business, talking about uh, some really important investment strategies. Let me ask you, what are some of the values or principles that are a part of y- your approach to investing? Yeah, the biggest thing is uh, we don't just focus on the rate of return. You know, any, anybody can make money, uh, you know, looking at various things. But what we do in the mix that's different than a lot of other uh, financial advisors or newsletter services is we look at not only the source of how we're making money, but what is the company or what is the organization behind that. So we're looking for companies that are improving our world and improving our society so we screen out companies that don't line up with uh, biblical values Mm -hmm. and we have a set of screening screens that we use to screen out companies that aren't providing valuable services to this world if they're doing harm to society they're not going to make it through our moral screens 
And then on top of that, we also add on financial screens. So it's kind of a dual approach where you get both investments that are morally and financially sound. Yeah, basically the best of the best. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. The cream of the crop. And these are companies that we say that our clients can be proud to own. They're companies that, like I said, are, are improving our society, making a difference in the world and not taking value away, you know, from society. Chris? Well, Jay, we're uh, coming down in the last couple minutes, but I uh, wanted to ask you, because I know a lot of listeners would be saying, well, this sounds, you know, I'm not really a trader. I don't have time to trade in and out every day or this or that. And they may think that mm-hmm. it's uh, mm-hmm. too much work. Um, what I know you have like several portfolios for all kinds of different investors, you know, from the option traders, from swing, swing traders to people who are more conservative to the long term. Tell us uh, a little bit about the, the different uh, portfolios for uh, different people. Yeah, we have everything from conservative portfolios that are more dividend-paying uh, types of stocks and things that uh, can pay our subscribers income to more aggressive strategies for, like you said, the person looking to do short-term trades and maybe some option trades for more aggressive investors. Or uh, So our programs vary from very conservative to very aggressive, and we have packages for each of these types of investors. Yeah, very, very good. Got to wrap it up with that. Great interview, as always. I think we've had him on a couple of times, and I hope we have him on again in the future. I love the value-based approach. I like to call it conscious ownership, you know, not merely trying to make money, but but really letting your conscious play a role in the kind of money uh, and, and things you pursue. And uh, Chris Kidd, Jay Peroni, great interview, as always. Do want to remind the listeners as we wrap, wrap up today's show, this show continues 24-7 at priceofbusiness.com. Plus, the best content here, including this interview, will be found over there at usdailyreview.com. While there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. Have a great day. Spend it on this station. <laughs>